Aloha friends, I'm going to show you guys my current IKEA haul. I got this into the month of December. I did have to make a couple trips though into IKEA within that month because they really had very low uh, supply of the stuff that I, I needed as far as to organize the new kitchen. As you guys know, we um, we did our kitchen this summer. We took out the whole cabinet. It used to be a black custom, well, it used to be a custom cabinet and then I painted it black for the meantime before converting into a brand new cabinet that we knew that we were gonna do later on if we had time. And then we put more backsplash. We actually redid that. We took out the whole backsplash that we did and then, um, and then put new ones, new granite, um, new dishwasher. And so I wanted to have uh, some new items for the kitchen, especially as far as organizing. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I was able to grab at Ikea uh, for those um, for those times that I went in December. I'm going to go ahead and start off over here at this uh, corner. These are all the ones I was able to grab as far as putting up the, um, the curtains. So I got the curtain rods there and these are for the longer ones. Um, I used them all throughout my home. So those are the ones up there. But what they did not have were, were those end, um, I don't know if you call them end caps. If you can see, they are just white circular. And then the only ones that they had were pretty much like they there was so much empty stuff empty shelves but they had these which was a dollar 25 i figured i'd go ahead and get it because otherwise um otherwise one the pole would come off and then also um with the kids sliding the curtains back and forth then there was no way of really kind of stopping the the pole or stopping the movement so I just got these. I figured once they, um, once I go back there and they have the ones that I need in stock, then I can just throw these out because they were very affordable. And I don't even know why I got this one because it's so thin. But like I said, they were in very low uh, supply. So they only had like the long ones, the extended ones. They did not have the short ones and I needed the short ones for my laundry room. So I got this um, and then this one, to go with that one is I got these um, hardware um, again to purchase it separately at least I was able to purchase these because I need three of these sets to be able to hold the curtain like those up there okay got those and then this one I did not realize that it would really come in in handy because as I'm showing you guys so these are the new um, what do you call these cabinets and it goes perfectly in there. I mean, you could not ask for a more perfect storage solution. So I need about maybe five more of these. I'm actually going to go back to Ikea today just to get more of these because they're perfect for, um, for my single cabinet. And then my new pop of color for the home is green. Okay. So we went ahead and, and painted the, the kitchen green. And then I also did um, my little mudroom area there where Java kind of goes in there to eat. And then I have a little planter. So I wanted to add a little bit more green into my home. I got these. They were very affordable. So I didn't know what I was going to use them for. So I basically just got two, um, two of each. So I got these two little small ones. Okay. I want to say they were roughly about three or five dollars okay very inexpensive and then two of these jars they go really well with my lamp over there again the pop of color for me right now is green and i got that lamp over at world market so i got two of them and then if you guys notice we also got a new sofa so we are like reorganizing redoing stuff around the home so i feel these green jars are perfect again this one was i want to say between five to eight dollars okay and then i think this one was nine and i bought two of these jars which i'm using uh currently elsewhere there's some more of those dollar 25 that i was able to grab these are the is it the so always so hard to pronounce them is it the resa torp basket i got three 
don't mind that i got three white ones and i'm going to use them into the kitchen i just wanted to use um to show you guys these are all the receipts for these purchase like i said i went a few times so that was one two two visits but let me go ahead and show you guys this okay and then also the last time i went i got more of these um these are the ones that because of the recall you attach your um like the billy bookcase or any furniture um onto your wall so they just gave me a lot of um extras but i use this one for my garden you've seen this on my instagram where i'm um, harvesting my garden this is so easy because one you can actually just hose off your vegetables outside before bringing them inside and get rid of most of the dirt um, easy to handle easy to carry and then it's even perfect for little danica to go ahead and harvest her um her garden stuff which she plants uh tomatoes and then um beans so perfect for that uh wired so that the um the dirt kind of just goes through and then this one i'm going to use the white ones for like potatoes and onions um or even like snacks for the kids that's readily uh available for them i'm not sure yet but i know i'm gonna use it into my um, my pantry okay this one is a little basket i got for um for my babies my house plants and then they also had some of these uh cover uh pillow cover this one they had purchased um i had purchased before and they were on clearance they brought some more but they were only limited so i think they were just really really like trying to clear out their warehouse so this one i got for like two dollars a piece that's not bad because i do like that green and i've had that before so i'm going to use that one into the living room and then i always always grab one of these kitchen towels they're two or three dollars and then there's it's a pack of how many's in here four okay and i do like that green one i've gotten this before and then this one is plain really like that one as well this one because i do have some pots that do not have lids um this one is three different sizes um i think it's like a small medium large lid that you can um use on different pots um i'm missing some of my lids and then plus not only that like um like bowls like for instance those um, um silver bowls that i use constantly for baking very inexpensive i could use that to um use this to cover that when i'm not ready to use the ingredients yet or just want to put it into the fridge like cookie dough sometimes i put the uh, cookie dough into the fridge and i'm constantly using saran wrap so i'm trying to use less saran wrap and be able to just use these um reusable lids oh danica's legos and then these are just um heating mats cork heating mats i've got a few of these as well so i went ahead and grabbed some more the thing that I went in there for is, um, I don't even know what this is, sorry. Oh, <laughs> these are Danica's um, Christmas present that I was looking for. No wonder I couldn't find it. It was wrapped. But this is her little, like, chef hat. And then, oh, this is the chef hat, okay? And then this is her little apron for Christmas time, okay? I got that for her. Super cute. Okay, so the new... Um, thing with ikea that i discovered is their ikea 365 plus um uh not bins but for the kitchen so you have this oh even this okay so this one is a it's a heating so this is like an ice pack you put this into the freezer and then you can put it which <laughs> i'm sorry to say but they did not have this size okay i don't know if this is i don't think this is the 365 plus yeah it's not so they basically have a glass version and a plastic version of this size um but it's like this and it's i finally decided to just go ahead and grab the lids because sometimes they have the container but not the lids or the the lids but not the container so for this particular size they had the lids but they didn't have the containers and I was kind of tired of going there when they had supply of both. So I just grabbed a few of these. I really like the wooden cover. They are a bit more expensive. They're like $4 compared to something like this that's like a dollar, 
maybe a dollar fifty somewhere around there so this is a dollar something and then this was for something um but this one at least has um it's made of wood and then it has a sealant so you know that it's sealing up your food um it's sealing up your items really well got that one and then this one if we had wanted to go on a picnic or or have you it'll freeze it or if i wanted to bring something to lola because sometimes lola is my mom i'll bring something over to her or to my sister my friends kind of thing and then be able to just keep it cool so that's why i got that okay i only got two of these and then um this lid so this and this works as the same lid for the same size container just as much as this okay these are plastic again these are like a dollar something but they're nice heavy duty plastic and then i got some of these again 365 plus some glass and then i'll be able to show you guys the containers or the lids of a complete set okay so this one this will go here okay really well or if you don't want to use the wood you can use the plastic or if you don't want to use the the glass you can use the plastic that would go here or with these so it's nice that it's all interchangeable between the glass and the plastic and the wood and the plastic Okay, so I got those. Um, the circle ones I'm happy with. I got enough. I think I actually over-purchased because I wasn't counting. Okay, so I'll go through that and just return tonight whatever I don't need. All right. And then also just to clarify, this one has this size, which is a deeper, um, much deeper than the one, the plastic one. But they both fit into, the, into these lids. Okay. So that's why I got both. Okay. This one doesn't belong here. All right, friends. Um, okay, so the next one is um, just like little kitchen stuff. Um, I had gotten these because one, it's cheap. I've, I've seen a couple of Ikea haul uh, videos that they use this. But because I have carpal tunnel, it's actually really hard for me to squeeze it. So it's just a dollar something. My my family will never use it because I'm the only one really cooking besides hubby. And hubby prefers the, the metal one. So I don't know how much that is, but I'm definitely going to return that. It's just too hard. Uh, too hard to squeeze. Okay. This one was supposed to be a bento box. But I don't know where the lid is. Or maybe it did not have a lid. I'm not quite sure. I don't think this is a 365 to tell you the truth that I don't think this is going to fit or here actually this one is open okay see how it's wood and then it's easily you can easily take this off and wash it but I don't think it's gonna be a fit oh no it is oh look at that it is a fit it's a perfect fit okay so I'm gonna keep that okay I do like um, stainless steel containers like bento boxes. It just keeps the temp uh, temperature better um, on things like if, if Danny wanted to pack some food for her to go to school and such. These are just $1.25. Um, perfect containers for like um, now the hand sanitizers, lotions, um, and such. So I got a few of those. I think I'm using two already in my bathroom, so I got two more. And then I got this just because it's green. Um, green and then a little tray table. Maybe Danica can use it. Um, but I also like how it's green. Um, maybe even just use it into my um, my dishes over there. To put, if I wanted to put some dish soap in here. And then hand, like hand lotion um, in here after I wash dishes. And then be able to do um, like a brush. Um, and then um, like scrubby things or soap kind of thing just to be able to have that. I think I can use that as well. So that will really go well with the color of the kitchen. All right, I got some more of these lids. It also came into this size, which I got um, maybe two or three of. Uh, and I'm already using them, like I said, because this was since December time. And then this is nice because it's nice, like a lasagna 
a deep dish Pyrex. It's um, safe for the oven, I believe. And let me just double check. I believe it is. Yep, it's safe for the oven. Okay, let me just put that there. And then um, they did not have, I did not see the, the wooden lid for these, only the plastic one. So if, um, if they do have that wooden one, I'll go ahead and grab two. So I do like the wooden uh, version, okay? And then I got some measuring um, teaspoons, tablespoons, because you can never have enough of them, especially I bake for the kids. And then these, okay? Like I said, I've been into like stainless steel and wood obsession. So these are perfect for like little rice bowls, little salad, little condiments, little side dishes when I'm pickling things and we have a lot of like um, pickling cucumbers. Um, I love to uh, pickle the cucumbers, the carrots, the daikon, like a kimchi or just side dishes of a uh, fruit kind of thing. So perfect for the kids so it's not breakable, not glass. And these are their new ice cream scoopers that I saw. I don't know how long they've had this, but I was I thought it was nice that it had these um, holes so that I can use it for cookie, uh, cookie scoop. Because you know how like um, when you guys use ice cream scoop to do your cookies, it tends to get stuck in here and then you have to kind of take it out with another spoon or such. But this one, when I because I always wear gloves, then I can just push it through be easy and then it comes into these smaller sizes okay and then i'm just gonna go through here this one i'm gonna return um i wanted um a coffee press or a coffee pour over i ended up getting one at daiso i really love it It was a dollar fifty i've been using that for a month now and i am really satisfied with it and i think this was twenty dollars so i'm gonna go ahead and return this one and then this one i believe is going to be like these, okay? So this one I'm gonna use for like desserts, for ice cream sundae, or just scoops of ice cream, um, or any other desserts, or just even just a glass by itself. I love the shape of it, and I love how it's not cheapy, like lightweight, but it's not super heavy that I currently have. I think I'm gonna get rid of that glass set that i have that i bought at home goods and just keep these so i bought four i think of these yep four i buy at least four because i am a family of six and sometimes six is a bit too much but it's a perfect perfect size you can still drink your wine in here or cocktail or use it for desserts okay these are adorable so i <laughs> i put this back but i have been using this and um, I was able to grab two more on my last visit. The first visit, they only had two. So I was so lucky that second visit, they had a few more. So I was um, able to grab two more. So now I have four. I have to have four when I have a set of something because I think four is minimum when you have a large family like myself. It was just, if it was just me and hubby, then two would be sufficient. Um, you know, but four, I think is perfect. Okay. And then this one, I only grab one set. So four, and I think that's enough. This is the one I got at Home Goods. It's, it's a nice size, but it's so heavy, especially going through the dishwasher because we're a family of six. So going through this, it just weighs down the top part of the dishwasher. And I'm not really happy with it. And I, I purchased it for like $9. So I'm okay to just toss it out or um, donate it and, and just save uh, free for someone to pick up. But these are so light. These are even lighter than these ones. But I love that it still feels like glass, so it doesn't feel like it's acrylic. And then it's light, not too heavy at all. And that's something that Danica, the seven-year-old, can easily still hold and not feel like it's too heavy for her that she might drop it, okay? Again, these were very, very affordable. I'm just, um, I'm just happy, glad that I was able to purchase a set, okay, a set of these. They also had, um, I think they had like a bigger plate version, but I'm not quite sure. Maybe it was just these. Maybe the, the one that I'm thinking about was. 
Yeah, I think the other one I'm thinking about was actually a different design. So let me go around. Again, more storage containers. Um, this one, I got a small one. Oh, here it is. A small one and a large one. It's just basically a measuring um, measuring cup, but it's in a very light glass. It's not heavy um, like the Pyrex one I have. So um, nice to have a smaller one. And then this one is the four cups version. Again, not too heavy at all. So that's something that I really like about that one. This one is their carafe. I think this was $2, $3, somewhere there. But I got two just so that when I'm serving or making a, a quick tea for me and hubby, then I'm able to use these or just orange juice and pour it in here when we know that we're going to be at the table kind of um, drinking out of um, something that's already going to be used up during that um that, that meal. I don't like to keep these into the refrigerator if it does not have a cover. I think there is a cover for it, um, like that heat proof that I showed you, but they did not have it at the time that I went there. So I might actually look for that. This one I always grab. <laughs> I grab about one or two of these so cheap. I think three, a dollar or three, I don't know. But there's a pack of how many is in here? A pack of three. And these are what I use to give away. So when I'm giving away some items that I make, I put it in here and I don't expect it back from neighbors or families or friends. Okay. So I did have the container, but um, the plastic. So I, they did not have the glass one. Okay. And then it's, it's these ones. Okay. That one goes together. So I did purchase um, a container for it, okay? But I would still want the glass one. The glass one is not as deep as this one. I think it's half the size, okay? Oh, okay, I think I got more. I'm thinking I have more of those. So each for the family. Yeah, so six, which is perfect, so I can get rid of that um, heavy glass. This one is perfect for pantry, for anything. Um, for the fridge, I've seen people use this for the fridge so that they can just pull it out and all the condiments are in here or all the vegetables or not the vegetables, but like the cheese or what have you, they're all out and then you just pull them at once. Pantries, they're good for um, spices or pastas or things that are already pre-packaged like the ramens that we have so it can all line up and then they can just easily take it out. Um, but I do use this for my studio. Um, as far as storing up some of my um, my items um, when I use them for um, projects as far as like crafts or Sensi or YouTube, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and put that there. And then the couple of last items in here, I had a couple of these. I grabbed more. This I use for coffee, like when I open up my, because um, like I said, I, I've been using the, the coffee pour over. And so I've been buying um, the coffee, not the ground coffee, but the ones that you usually put into the coffee pot because now I use a Keurig. Um, but then I'll use that to pour over. So I'll put the open ones in here or else um, candy, like chocolate stash that um, we don't want the kids to kind of see because it's for me and hubby. <laughs> I know we're such mean parents. We There are times like hubby and I don't really go for sweets too much. We like our snacks of like cheese, crackers, grapes, wine. But sometimes when we're watching a show on the weekends, we want to munch on just, you know, a little bit of, you know, chocolate. And the kids always beat us to it. So we have to hide it and things like this. Okay. Yes, bad parenting. Uh, this one, I'm like trying to open it and see. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got two more. Okay, so it is a set of four. So I have four of every... No, I have six. So I overpurchased. <laughs> That's all right. Okay, I can use that um, for many stuff. Okay. But these are um, things that I kind of want to use for my counter. Because as of now, I don't have a lot on my counter, which I really like. Um, what I'm going to use this for is either it's going to go inside the pantry, which is on the other side of this. I have a walk-in pantry or be able to store it in that corner. This can have um, quinoa. So I have a different bin for rice because we use a lot more rice. But quinoa or some sort of pastas, I can use that for. And these actually have this lid that can do it. 
okay? Or, okay, see how that lid can close up? See how, okay? You can use this as the lid. Okay, you can use this as the lid for it, okay? Or you can use these, okay? That will, um, that will work with this. This is the large one, and then this is the medium one. Okay, again, 365, you can use this lid for it as well, or this lid. They are, they're all interchangeable, which is really, really nice. Then this is the same size as this one, I believe. Okay, last one. And this one is a little pitcher, um, very lightweight. Um, I have enough pictures, but I thought this was really inexpensive, light, and I love how it has the, the cover on it. So I'm definitely going to look for that cover of that if they have it. All right, friends, uh, so now this is it. This is all my IKEA kitchen um, storage, home storage, new items from IKEA. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. As always, thank you guys for visiting A Simply Simple Life. Mahalo!